Hey guys, we're back at the Bosch Tools here at the World of Concrete 2023 edition, and I found more cool stuff to play with. Phil, what am I holding here? All right, you're holding out a brand new um, Pro Factor 18 volt, uh, one and five eighths SDS Max uh, chip or rotary hammer. Awesome. So, general overall features that makes this better than any other rotary hammer I can find on the market. All Tell right. me about it. Yeah. So this hammer. Um, comes with 6.7 uh, foot-pounds of impact energy. Okay. Impact energy is the number one thing for these users, uh, importance because they need to have the power. Uh, Pro Factor for us means that we offer or we, uh, uh, we guarantee quarter, uh, quarter performance and a cordless tool. Okay. So this tool has a bi-turbo brushless motor, comes with our core 18 volt battery, which has 21700 cell technology. On the 8 valve battery and the 12 valve battery, that unlocks that true uh, corded performance on the cordless tool. Okay. And we're selling it together with our turbocharger, which charges an 8 valve battery to 80% in 26 minutes. That's to 50% even in 15 minutes. Okay. All right. So um, the corded predecessor of this one had 6.0 uh, foot-pounds of impact energy. So the cordless version is more powerful now than the corded version. So it's really, really impressive of an 18 volt. Um, is, is that basically because all the attention and innovation and R&D goes into all your cordless material? I mean, that's how correct. it's been able to surpass yes. even what you were able to achieve as a corded version? Correct. So I mean, all, the, our, all our focus and energy development is now going into cordless with battery technology evolving, with um, technology inside the tools. I mean, obviously more research goes into that, so that's how we can reach this. And motors are being more powerful too. Right, right, right. Well, let's let's talk about that a little bit here. I mean, the name of the game is always innovation and, and making a better and better product and bringing it to your customers. Right. But as far as where that innovation is derived from, uh, explain, ex explain the ratio between your in-house R&D and actually going out into the field and talking to your customers on the job site, how much of that happens? Yeah, so I mean, it actually happens a lot. So we have a full team of, of product managers. Okay. So we have actually some of the product managers, we call them trade experts. So that's on my team specifically, um, it's a bunch of them. Um, and their job is 50% of the time is to spend with users okay. on the actual job site. Obviously we do market research also in like, you know, in research agencies where we sit behind the mirror, but the majority of our research is actually happening on job sites. On job you site. know, we bring prototypes of these tools out, we give them in the hands of users, we let them try with it or like try it out and then give us feedback. But we're really like observing, you know, because right. we want to, we don't want to take any influence. We want to be neutral. We just want to see how they're doing. Right. And then off of that input, we can derive then um, improvement areas for the existing products or even for new products. And just give the people what they want, right? Exactly. So, well, and, and that, you know, just to put it bluntly, you come out to this outdoor area and you're surrounded by you know, no other than four or five other major tool yes. companies and they all have products they're trying to sell it to the same people you are. Right. So you got to do something to set yourself apart, right? Correct, yes. And what better way to go out there and ask them what they want? Exactly. So <laughs> no, I mean, no, our user research is really like where we're trying to develop those differences, you mm -hmm. know, come up with better features, you know. For example, on this hammer now, Besides the um, besides the 6.7 foot pounds of electric energy, which is already better than some of them, um, we have a bunch of other features. You know, if you drill with this thing all day long or chip with it, you know, you get a ton of vibrations. Right. So what we have here is like this rubberized part here. Yeah, actual actual shock absorbers, exactly, right? Exactly. What we call vibration control. Okay. So that like reduces the, uh, the the vibration that you're gonna experience. Sure. We have something that we call vario lock. So if you flip it here or here, so if you had like a chisel in here, for example, a flat chisel, mm -hmm. you may sometimes want to like chisel down straight or you right. need it at a certain angle so now you can like twist the bit that you have in oh, here wow. to the exact angle and, and then, then you, lock it and you lock it in so that's a cool feature of this one that's awesome um, Bosch is big on like you know making the the health of the worker better or like even like at least um, you know keep it going right right um, so therefore in this tool if you drill with it most concrete has rebar nowadays yeah so with this drill but if you hit a rebar it's gonna take the tool on a ride, you know, because mm. it's gonna bind up behind the rebar, right? And that's dangerous. So therefore, we have uh, with Bosch sensor technology, we have kickback control in this tool. Okay. So the way this works is you run it, and it detects it shuts uh, a, sh a certain movement that you would see in such a situation. It shuts off, and the light up front here will flash. Okay. So that's that's Bosch sensor technology that goes in there from us. Another thing is um, we have a user interface. We can show this to the camera here. So you can see it here. So you see a green light there. So that really means um, that's the status of health of the battery. Okay. You know, so from 100% to 20%, the light will be green. You know, telling the user, hey, your, your battery lifetime is good. Yeah. 
below 20 it will turn orange and below 5 it will turn red. Okay. And the user knows exactly when to change the battery. Right, right. Another and, and, and 25 minutes later he's back in the game with your rapid charger, right? Well, we're That's cool. with two batteries so yeah. he can like uh, cycle through the day. Awesome. Um, the other feature we have is like what we call soft start. Okay. So soft start, if you imagine all these like expensive hotels here, they have big lobbies. They use a ton of like marble, which is really expensive, so they don't want to damage it. And sometimes okay. you just have to drill what you have to drill. So with soft right. start, the RPMs of the tool slowly start up. And, so it, and it ramps up or it, it ramps stays up. low enough, you just kind of drill a pilot hole and then you switch it? No. Or can you stay in soft mode and drill the entire hole? No, so it ramps up to like maximum speed from there. Okay. Um, because, but if you slowly start, you know, it really nicely centers the bit, but exactly where you need it to be. That's awesome. Yeah. So the other feature we have here is, um, especially for chipping applications, you know, you flip the switch up here, you press this button, so now it runs continuously without you having to pull the trigger. Oh, okay. Because if you do this all day, yeah. and you have to pull the trigger, this is really going on your lower <laughs> yeah, arms. Here right here. <laughs> you're, uh, you're not gonna be a happy, uh, happy camper at the end of the day. Right. Um, yeah, so maybe one other thing, we call it the one and five eights. Um, so the one and five eights really refers to the maximum drill diameter. Right. Um, yeah, but I think that's is the those are all the features of this tool. That's awesome. I mean, that's that's a lot of features packed into one tool. You guys have certainly done your homework, and as far as a a true worker's tool, I believe you've made something you guys can be proud of. Absolutely. All right. Cool. Keep it locked here on the Add Ten Gallons channel for more cool stuff that we're seeing. Not only in the Bosch booth, but all around the hall here as we continue our tour around the World Concrete 2023 Expo.